Well, today we're talking about Bow Wow and Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj barbs are very upset with her new choice and boyfriend, and it is a little spooky. I mean, I don't get what I don't get what famous people uh, infatuation with the streets is all the time, man. It's like, you know, <laughs> it always gets you in trouble, man. I mean, I used to do a lot of music videos doing that kind of stuff, and then at one point you got to realize, like, damn. The shit is a little bit, you know, a little bit dangerous. Most people in the street don't want to, if they get legit money, they don't want to be in the street no more. Talk to anybody that's made it out the streets, they don't want to be in it anymore when they are when they go legit. You know, they still have friends there and everything, but they, you know, I mean, but anyway, let's get into it. It's Jordan Taylor with JT News. Hit that bell, hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. All right, so let's talk about Bow Wow first, okay? So Bow Wow, uh... Little Mama and Bow Wow, they're having a little bit of trouble today. It's probably to promote this show that they're on, but let's get into this. You are far from the type of man that I could ever see myself being with, sleeping with any of that nature. You knew me since we was kids. When we was on tour, when you had the pre-cut t-shirts, the little pre-cut white beads that used to rip off. Who you knew that for? Who you knew that could get next to me? I was surrounded I mean, my father, my brothers, my uncles, y'all was scared to talk to me. So how somebody fucked me in a week or you can give advice to somebody that they would even be able to? You out of your mind, you're bugging, you're bugging, and you have to stop. You have to. You gotta stop. And then like uh, Bow Wow said, who though? I guess Bow Wow claimed he messed with her or something. Then Bow Wow put out some thing today saying like, First of all, there's a picture of him on a do-rag cover. I guess he's promoting do-rags now. Then he said, uh, wait, what was the post he put up? It's another Bow Wow challenge. The 2019 responding to any year. I love it. This is around the time of year where everyone tells you what they're going to do in 2019. 2019, I'm done with this. I'm done with you people like this. Nothing changes in 2019. Nothing will change in 2020. Nothing will change in 2021. You'll be the same. Anyways, they say not responding to none of this stuff when you come to the internet. Y'all be talking to a wall. Anyways, I don't know what's going on with Nicki Minaj, but you know, she's a good girl and everything. But uh, I don't know. Seems like she's going through something, man. She's posted up with this guy who's claimed he has these, uh, I don't know. I'm not even going to say. He's accused of a lot of things in the past that are a little weird, a little spooky. And, you know, she's throwing up blood signs and all that. It's like, what? <laughs> Yo, dude, you, you've been in the game for like 10 years. You're famous and you're going backwards. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. So, I don't know. If, usually, you know, she moved on from Safari. She was with Meek. That was cool. That got toxic for. Then uh, she was with that guy. Uh, what was his name? Alex Hamilton, the, the race car driver. I thought that was a win. Okay. I was like, whoa, okay, you with this guy? This guy is like clean cut. He's got uh, endorsements, multi, he was over $100 million, and like hanging out with Will Smith and everything. This guy's got it going on. That's more like the type of lane you want to be in to elevate. But then you get affiliated with this. It's not, it's not good for business. And then she's talking about, yo, they want 25 racks for the interview. He's like, yo, people be doing on themselves. He's like, what? Yo, my, like, come on, man. Nikki already did that back in the, b before the DVD days, you know? Like, I don't know what she's talking, I don't know what she's up to, man. But, uh, you know, I hope everything's good with her. And uh, anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys. You know, I'm not, I'm not shading her anyways. They're, they're, it's really the barbs that I, they all at me and this stuff. And uh, I saw the thing, you know, like, I guess this guy's ex was like, Exposing her, uh, exposing him in DMs to Nikki, saying he's using you, he's trying to get it back from you. Hey, maybe he is, you know. Like, but you know, I hate to see people that I knew in the past make bad moves. I mean, I think this is where Little Kim went wrong, if I'm mistaken. I remember she was popping and she got involved with a lot of street stuff again, infatuated with the streets, and we never heard from Little Kim again. And Nikki stole her spot. That might happen again. I mean, like, history does repeat itself. You know what I mean? Like, Nikki's, Nikki was making a comeback. She got to continue making that comeback, you know? Because she took a, a while to release this album, you know? So, even if it... Okay, she got zero Grammy and noms. That doesn't mean anything. You know, you just got to keep working. And she's been killing it with features. 
So I was like, okay, she's 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 back. She's back like she never left. You know, like, you know what I mean? Like back back. I know she never really left left, but back back. But this is a step back back. You can call me whatever you want, but I'm just being honest here. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. Peace.